What's up, people? Welcome to the What's Been Going On of this week from the 16th to the 22nd of September. My second week in classes. Um, I, I, you know, even though I'm, I'm in classes, this week didn't feel much like classes. In a way, because yesterday I had an adventure, which is something that you don't really have quite a lot when you're in classes you should be studying think of those you know things like that but i went to toulouse you know because why because i've never been to toulouse in my life and um the polish dude so cuba the man that made the legend he told me to like we agreed to go to toulouse and it was two hours away by car well three hours so we um we woke up at 5 a.m on a saturday Something you'll not, you know, something that is not quite often for me. Waking up at 5 a.m. on a Saturday it was hard. My eyes were half closed. I was going to take a shower. I couldn't take a shower. My body didn't. Like, it was hard. It was a bit cold as well. And at the end of the day, it sort of rained. But at the beginning, it looked like cloudy and coldish and, you know, with wind. But we still went to lose. And it was amazing. Not gonna lie, it, it, it was very good, like... Mm, like, people, when they think of France, they don't internationally... They don't really think of Toulouse that much, but it is amazing. Like, it is a great-ass city. But it doesn't look much... Like, it don't, you don't really feel like you're in France. Which is weird to say. Because when, when I think of France, I think of, like... You know, this typical architecture that's, like, here in my city, or in North. Or I think even in Marseille, they have sort of the same architecture. Toulouse, it's unique. Like, their architecture, it's not... I, I, it's, there's not many places in France with the same architecture. You don't really feel... Like, you're even in France. Like, it's called the pink city for a reason. The freaking Metrocard is this, you know? Like, it's pink. Everything is pink. Even though my friend make a good argument, it can be called the orange city. But orange city doesn't sound as cool. It is like... Huh, like orange, like the fruits, so you have to justify it, and as well, orange is like, when you think of orange, you think like an old dude wearing an orange pole, you don't really think of something that cool, so pink, it's a bit more playful than orange. So, we went to Toulouse, we stayed the whole day there, we had some things, drank some Rica, which is a national drink, well, here in the south, and, um, yeah, that was Saturday. On, on Friday, uh, quite interestingly, we crashed into graduation. So, um, in this new school year, I have a buddy who left law school, who did two years of law school, and then on his third year, he just switched to business, which I didn't even know it was possible. But, but as well, uh, there, was a, uh, there is an Erasmus dude. His name is Giacomo. He's Italian. He's, you, you can imagine, when you think of a Giacomo, he's exactly what comes to mind. I don't, I don't know, I've, I've never met anyone else in my life named Giacomo, but the name sounds just like him. It's, it's weird to describe, but on Friday we finished courses and he had the last course with us. Then we had to do a marketing presentation, so the teacher let us out. What happened? We went to a freaking bar close to the school to drink and do the marketing presentation while having a pint. There was an English dude, two Swedish ladies, me and Joan, the freaking dude from law school who dropped out of law school to come to our place. And <coughs> the poor Giacomo, okay, we do the work, we didn't, didn't really work. The girls ordered some like cocktails that had gummy bears in it. Me and Joanne ended up eating the gummy bears, which was a bit funny. And then, um, just after we finished working, which we didn't do absolutely anything, we were gonna go back home, and Joanne is my neighbor, so he lives quite close to me. And what happened was that we captured Giacomo. Like, we told, oh, let's go walking. And knowing very well that we'll go in the city center and then get lost and we'll never even, like, we'll not go home in at least three hours. Well, we, we, we did a lot of side, um, you know, s side quests in the city center. We went to a museum that was closed. 
We entered into a place of cinema that was only for clubs, but Joan booked there in summer, so he knew some people. We made Giacomo taste a great croissant because he's Italian and he doesn't really eat many, like he hasn't eaten a good croissant in France, so that was the first good croissant he ate in all of France. And what else did we do? Oh, and we crashed a graduation. A law school graduation. Here in my town, law school, it's very hard. First year it's 5,000, second year is 500. And we were into a master two graduation for public law. So there's, there was not a lot of people. It was like 20, 25 people graduating. They were probably going to be very important people in the future probably politicians, most of them, or judges, or some of, something of that kind. And we crashed that freaking uh, graduation. We were having Jose uh, things, we were eating the freaking snacks that were delicious. It, they looked like they were made from a chef. Um, what else? Uh, because, okay, the thing is, the law school is the nicest school in all of my town. So the guy who studied law wanted to show the law school to the guy, to Giacomo, the Erasmus guy, because, you know, he's showing the city. One of the side quests was visiting the law school, which was a bit far. But we go to the law school and, oh, there's a graduation. There was the president of the university. There was a teacher that the, the, the law school dude told me, that guy is a consultant for countries. When they have law problems, international Pub, like law problems, they call him up. Countries. That that dude was small and with the suits, and and he told like me and Jack, like you see that small guy in a suit, he's a boss, he's blah blah. And we're like, dude, they're all small guys in a suit. What do you mean? Which one out of all of them? That was. But well, yeah, we went to the graduation. We saw the whole school. We ate free. We asked them to take us pictures. We were not well dressed, like even though we had like a color, we were not badly dressed, but they were in suits, all of them, and dresses, and it was a graduation. It was the president of the university giving the speech with his freaking, I don't even coat, but it, it was like a, a, a very law school coat. It was very interesting. We crushed the graduation. That was very cool it's on Friday. Then, yeah, on Thursday as well, or Wednesday. I don't even remember. Yeah, I think on Wednesday, I also went out with the l lawyer dude. We went out to walk through the city. That was fun. We were talking about weird things. Um, he told me one of his one experience that involves a pole with a human hole to use that human hole, and I was like, "What? What do you mean? Weird story, but you know, it was fun and what else?" <laughs> oh, as well. So, um, the romantic life this week was... I have no words to describe it. First, um, so, as a recap, I had um, this very interesting Brazil lady that I really liked. But there was, a, like, we, we decided to meet one day. And then this week she was not in town. But she came here today. So then I, things were a bit not that good. But then I, I was chatting with my friends. I was like, what should I do? And I jumped out to the conclusion, you know what? I'll just call her. Like a, a cold call. Like on Wednesday, which was as well the day I went out with the, the ex-lawyer dude. I called her, everything is great, we speak. And then we decide to meet today. And sadly, we didn't meet. Mm. That was sad. It, it was sad because I did really like her and, you know, you can uh, imagine the implications of not meeting. Like, it was, I, I think, you know, that that's the end of it. Which sucks! Like, I bought her a freaking gift from Toulouse. Like, yeah, th this, this sucks, but uh, I think I should share it. Maybe you, you can learn something from this. And I bought her this. Yeah, which is like a freaking, like, bracelet. Yeah, I was with the Polish dude. I was thinking of giving her a gift from Toulouse. I bought her a freaking nice-ass bracelet. And 
Oh, of course I didn't tell her I bought her this. But like, it, it sucks. Like, mm. oh, but that, that that's 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 romanticism, you know. Some it's like a gamble. Like sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. You shouldn't go all in. I think in this one, I feel, I I was all in. I think you know, I, it was. I think I, I should have been a bit more, like, calmado, you know, like, more calm, because at the end, it didn't work out, and I even now have a freaking bracelet for a girl. What the heck am I going to do with that? <coughs> and it, it's not really my fault. It's just that, um, you know, things, destiny was not by my side in this one. Which, you know, makes sense, you know, one to lose, ten to win, they in friends. Maybe this one was not supposed to happen, but the next one can be a thousand times better. But, yeah, yeah, it was, it's sad, you know, I really like this Brazilian lady, and I think, yeah, I really doubt I'll see her again, ever. But it was great um, that I called her on Wednesday. I, I think it was a great move. You know, I think it was indeed a great move. Most of my friends were like, nah, you sent her a message. I called her. We decided to meet today. She said, okay, again, like last Saturday and, and today, blah, blah. Yeah, it sucks. It sucks. But life sucks sometimes. And you need to learn from that. And love sometimes is a gamble. And sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But finding like someone that you really, really like is a bit difficult. It's not that easy, like, you can find many people, but someone that you really, really like, that you really, really wanted to see for, like, a week, and you didn't, and... Oh, yeah, it sucks, it sucks, yeah. Yeah, this, this week sucks, romantically speaking. I have a bad voice as well, I have a bad throat. Thanks, because yesterday it freaking rained. At the last hour in Toulouse, I got 100% wet. With, like, the Polish dude brought in, uh, like, the thing that Chinese tourists have at Disney. I don't know how to describe, like, you know, the, the thing. The thing that covers from rain that's, like, just plastic. Yeah, he brought that very colorful, the one he brought. Very, very colorful. But, yeah, yeah. And on Tuesday as well, I had another adventure with Giacomo and Joan. So there was a new Italian restaurant open down like below the cafeteria that we have at the university. And we went in, they, they were going to order a coffee. And Joan said to the, to the chef like, oh, you know what? This is an Italian, a real Italian. You should give him a, a, a taste of your pizza so he can judge it. Next thing I know, they gave us for free a full pizza for me Giacomo, Joan, and uh, another Italian girl to taste and free gnocchi. And this is after eating lunch. Like we we came came out of <coughs> we came out of the cafeteria. We had, after eating a big ass lunch with entry, main course, and dessert. And then we go back, and then they offer us a big ass pizza and some gnocchi. And we had classes like ten minutes after, so it was like. What what is going on? That that I don't think that has ever happened to me. No, but it was great, and I think it was because they took some pictures of us that they'll put in social media. So I think that's good. You know, I I think that's a great thing. Yeah, and today I went to the sauna. I was supposed to be sweating in another way, if you know what I mean. But I ended up going to the sauna, to the gym, which was good as well because I didn't go. And yeah, fucking hell, I'm just making excuses. Yeah, I had to see the Brazilian lady today, it didn't happen. Ah, oh, frick. Yeah, but that's life. New, new things will come. New things will come. New yeah. things to come. Cheers to those new things that will come in the future. New great stuff will come. Yeah. New great partner will go. Everything will come. Just not, yeah. Just not the Brazilian lady that you really, really, really like. But stop saying that, Daniel. What am I even saying? Um, yeah, this week classes from Monday to Thursday was serious. Friday was just a mess. 
Just yesterday was Toulouse and today was Sana and yeah, bad thoughts. But we'll see what next week next break uh, week brings. Last full week of September next week, and today is the first day of autumn as well. Interesting. Autumn is coming. Autumn is here. We are in autumn today. No more summer. That means autumn is coming, means winter is coming, so cold things will happen very soon. Mm. Well, yeah. Well, thank you for hearing me speaking my gibberish for the last minute, and uh, see you next week in the new What's Been Going On. Bye.